Today we'll make this Christmas sign from a Dollar Tree bag. Keep watching. You're going to start off with two ribbons that you like, whatever coordinates. So I've got the blue and the burlap. One is thrifted and one is from Dollar Tree. You can choose ornaments or berries. When I start off, I don't know exactly which direction I'm going in, so I like to give myself some options to see what feels right. You're going to take some picks. A bag from Dollar Tree, and this is from this year in the Christmas section. And then I'm using a thrifted chalkboard sign. And this is a 12 by 16 sign. You are going to start off by taking your scissors and cutting down the edge of the bag. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the flat side. You can certainly save the back side for another project, but this way we don't have to iron anything out or worry about that folded seam. So just go ahead all the way around the bag and cut that out as neatly as possible. Remove the string handle from the bag. You can just push it through. And then we're going to be saving this and cutting it into strips to finish it off. I'm just measuring the bag from the top onto the board underneath to see where I need to, to trim. I'm going to take my glue stick and just apply it all over the back of the board. If you get some little chunks and that does happen. If you can see there in the top left, you can just run back over that and smooth it out. Can't beat that. One dollar for eight glue sticks. Yeah, that's at the Dollar Tree. All right, I'm going to turn my sign upside down and place it onto my bag. Press it down good with my hands. Just feel them for any areas underneath that are raised need to be smoothed out. Then I'm going to take my wooden ruler and just get a nice clean finish. Pressing everything down so that all of that bag adheres to all of that sign. You take your scissors and trim along the edges to get a little bit closer, but you don't have to be too close because we're going to use that foam sanding block from Dollar Tree to give us a nice finished edge. You're going to sand downward and away at an angle. This is going to give it an aged look and that's kind of what you strive for when you are doing rustic or rustic um, decor, rustic DIYs. You want to give it a little bit of an aged look, make it sort of like it has a little bit of history or it's weathered. So I'm going to do that all the way around. And the bag is thicker than regular paper, so I wasn't really sure how this would work on the the bag, um, but it works. It works very well, actually, very well. So there you go. There's my nice little finished edges. They have that little bleached or whitewashed look. Then I'm going to take this piece that I cut off the side of the bag, trim it down and cut it in half. Use one strip for the top. I will use the glue stick to put it down and then I will sand it down to get the edges even just like I did around the original picture. And the reason I'm doing this is because I like the buffalo check print and I have it on the sides, but because of the length of the sign, I couldn't get all of that on the bag. Plus there were holes where the handles were originally on the bag. So now if I do it this way, it looks like a nice trimmed out sign. Just pressing that down. And there you have it. 
that's all you have to do for the top and you're going to do the bottom the same way next we're going to work on our bow this is sort of a cotton ribbon that's wired but it's to me it reminds me of denim or jeans but it's thin enough to work with I'm going to make a little stacked bow here so the bottom layer is going to be about an inch bigger than the middle layer and then the top layer is going to be an inch smaller than the next one so you can just decide how you want to do that if you want to do a seven six and five inch bow um, loop or if you want to do a six five and four whichever way you want to do it I have to say though in my opinion if you get any smaller than a five inch on the top it's kind of hard to work with once you fluff it there's just not a lot of space there so I'm going to protect my fingers and I'm going to put a little strip of glue and then start gluing down my layers just double checking you can see how the bottom layer is longer and then the top one is even shorter. Be really careful with this wired burlap. It's nice to work with, but you the, it, the glue goes straight through it. So you'll you'll definitely burn yourself if you're not super careful. All right, I'm just gonna put my layers together here and walk my fingers toward themselves and get out my little zip tie from Dollar Tree. You can get big bags of those and I'm going to tighten that up in the middle and then trim off the excess now we need to go over the center of that so I've just taken a little strip and folded it over on itself and hot glued it down and it covers up the hardware So now we're going to move on to the tails of this bow and I want those to look stacked as well now we're going to dovetail them fold them in half and then cut upwards to make little V's keeping the pretty side up you're just going to kind of squish them in the middle fold them over and squish them in the middle put the hot glue where you need to put it there was my son stopping by for a little visit he's decided that maybe he'll try his hand at some crafting too so now you're just going to put some glue on there and put your tails onto your bow now i like the way this looks with the tails kind of out to the side but you can definitely have them hanging straight down if you'd like i didn't want it to obstruct the antlers on my deer so I figured side to side would be a little bit more appropriate for this project. You can use a clamp to hold that in place if you want to until you know that the glue is cool to touch and dry. Now you decide where you want to put your bow. I have a tendency to put everything on the sides. So I've decided to shake it up a little bit today and put it in the center. I think these white snowy picks came from Hobby Lobby on clearance last year, but I'm not 100% sure with that. You can find something similar to it, or similar enough, that looks kind of woodland themed at Dollar Tree. They have really good florals. So I'm going to try to get my bow in the center, and then I have this snowy pick that came from the at-home store last year on clearance after the holidays. And I'm just going to tear it into pieces and place it here and there. I decided to use some snowy pieces because of the snowflakes in the picture. So I figured it was showing us a snowy scenery, so I thought that these pieces would be appropriate for that. And they give me that woodland vibe. And kind of work with that bow now or you can wait do that later and 
I see here that where I've placed the tails, it's a little bit too long on the side, so I'm just going to trim it up. And that's okay too. You know, take a good look at it, see what you think. You can always cut a little more off, but it's really hard to add something back. So just go ahead and do what is pleasing to your eye. I try not to show y'all every bit of my thought processes because it's it's a lot going on with the, the options and the choices and I try to edit that down where you don't have you don't have to look at too much of it. So I have this little snowman not snowman, it's a snowflake ornament that looks like it's wooden and it has some frosting on that. And that actually came in a big bag of I don't know what you would call it. Uh, I had pine cones and branches and just, I don't know, that you know the bags that you get. They're fragrant. It's like a potpourri bag, but they're really big. It's like gallon size. I got that for 90% off last year at Hobby Lobby. And they're still extremely fragrant. They, are, they smell wonderful. I thought it would be nice on this picture. So I considered other things that I could do here thinking maybe I wanted to add some red but to tell you the truth I'm honestly not that much into red I really prefer more natural woodsy and you know kind of neutral stuff as I've gotten older that calming effect is kind of what I'm drawn to so I'm just trying to keep everything that I add to it a little more neutral And I'm satisfied with the way that it looks. Going to use that handle from the bag and going to make a little hanger for the back. This is easy enough to do. Put a little glue under it, put a little glue over it, and then a little piece of scrap paper on top of that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Be sure that you measure first so that your string is not above the top of your sign. Unless you like that look, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Give that time to set up because that's a lot of glue there before you try to hang anything. Just be patient with it. Take your time. And there you have it. I always take a last look to see if there's anything else I want to add. Just to give you a good look. The writing there is blue and that's why I chose the blue for that ribbon. I hope you like it and I hope you consider making something like this. I thank you so much for coming back and for watching. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm glad to have you here. Are you into the rustic theme this year? Let me know because I can certainly do more. See you again soon. Bye.